Who's that teacher talking to Professor Quirrell? I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. I can tell you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put a stopper in death. Severus. Please. Severus. Severus, please. We're friends. About a cadaver. <laughs> Feeling sentimental. Snake! Like you, two of a kind, sentimental children forever whining about how bitterly unfair your lives have been. Well, it may have escaped your notice, but life isn't fair. Your blessed father knew that. In fact, he frequently sought to. How dare you stand where he stood? How you looked him in the eye! You coward, fight back! A man who trusted you and killed him. Yes. I'm the half-blood prince. Coward. You've been a good and faithful servant, Severus. But only I can live forever. Severus. Anything. Snape was trying to save me. Dada loves you. Hurry, be safe. The boy survives. This is need protection. The Dark Lord is gone. The Dark Lord will return. When he does, the boy will be in terrible danger. Have you ever considered that you ask too much, that you take too much? For granted, has it ever crossed your brilliant mind that I don't want to do this anymore? Once again, you astonish with your gifts, Potter. Gifts mere mortals can only dream of possessing. How grand it must be to be the chosen. He has her eyes. Her eyes. They're your mother, Lily's. If you truly loved her, no one. Can know. I should never reveal the best of your Severus. When you risk your life every day to protect the boy, you've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. After all this time, 